We're, we're accomplishing goals. <laughs> You're such a high achiever. I mean, I think for anyone listening right now who's um, unstoppable, that's part of what their aspiration is. I think that's another important thing to touch on just as it relates to goal setting. You know, when you're ambitious, ambitious people tend to be really hard on themselves, mm. which in some respects, right? We're like, but that's what makes us great. Like that's what's gonna push us to go further. And what I've learned is actually self-compassion can be incredibly mm -hmm. powerful when it comes to your own growth, self-kindness and self-love. Because when you feel good, you have more energy to do better. And you have a sense of humor and a willingness to go, oh, wow, look, I made a mistake or I messed up. But it doesn't mean I am a mess up. It is just a behavior yeah. that I can change. And I think for me, I often, you know, some days aren't perfect. And, you know, some days you wake up on the wrong side of the bed. And so on those days when I know, like, I didn't, like, live up to my personal expectation or the needs of my children, I'll just finish that day with either directly apologizing to them or apolog like like just finishing the day in my bed praying and like asking God to forgive me, forgiving myself and those around me. And you know, if it's my husband, then I'll communicate with him on that. And it's definitely helped a lot in a lot of different areas of just having that grace and compassion and sense of like letting go of the areas that I may have not performed or lived out the way I envisioned. Yeah.